Hi guys, this week we are um, talking about possessive nouns and um, basically what that means, to possess something means to own it, like it belongs to you. And so in this activity, which you'll find on page 40 in your Being a Writer book, um, you are going to be reinforcing what we've already talked about, which is ownership of things or belonging. Now, I have brought with me today this little guy. He's so cute. His little face is kind of squashed, but I'm going to call him Sparkles, Sparkles the Bear. And I've got Sparkles because I want you to really be able to see a concrete idea of him or her owning a thing. All right, so um, <clears throat> the top says all kinds of animals. It says read each sentence, circle the word that shows belonging. And belonging means to own or possess. We'll just put the word own. O-W-N. We call these possessive nouns because the word possess means um, that you own it or it belongs to you, okay? You have a lot of things at your house that belong to you, I'm sure, like your pillow belongs to you. Hopefully you don't have to share your pillow with anybody. <laughs> All right, um, here's our first one. It says the monkey's tail is long. Okay, so we know in this particular sentence that the animal is the monkey, right? So we've got a little monkey over here. We'll give him some ears. There's our monkey. And he has a long tail. Okay. What do you think? What is the thing that that monkey owns that belongs to just that little guy? Yes, you are correct. His tail. It's his tail. That thing right there. That belongs to the monkey and nobody else. And you know how come I know? Because it's attached to his rear end. <laughs> Nobody else can have it but him. All right, the second one says, the lamb's face is cute. All right, so our animal is the lamb. So we've got our little lamb over here. And y'all know I don't draw animals, so this is just my lamb. My lamb face. It, it doesn't look like a lamb, but that's okay. And uh, what belongs to the lamb? What belongs to the lamb? Yep. You're right, it's face, it's cute little face. It doesn't belong to anybody else. The face only belongs to the lamb. Nobody can have your face, right? Your face belongs to you. Thank goodness. Can you imagine if somebody could take your face? Eek. All right, the bunny's fur is soft. All right, what's our animal? Yes, it's a bunny. All right, I'm gonna draw a bunny. It's gonna look just like the lamb, just with longer ears and whiskers. <laughs> All right, the bunny's fur is soft. So what belongs to this bunny? Yeah, yep, it's fur. In this sentence, it's fur. It could have been its ears. It could have said a lot of things. So notice that the monkey has its own tail, the lamb has its own face, the bunny has its own fur. And to show that these things belong to these animals, we use an apostrophe S. This little thing right here is called an apostrophe. It's an important piece of punctuation. Punctuation is things like periods, commas, exclamation points, question marks, dashes, colons, semicolons. Oh, I could go on and on. They basically look like a bunch of code, don't they? When they're all put together like that, they don't look like anything. <laughs> but in a sentence, they're so important. Look at there's a period, a period, a period. And then we've got this thing. Yep. All right, <clears throat> our apostrophes. All right, in this part down here, and this is when we're gonna use sparkles. Hello, sparkles with the big eyes. All right, add apostrophe S's. Okay, so that's what I just drew up here, an apostrophe S to show what each thing belongs to. Then draw a line from each thing to its picture. Okay. All right, so we've got a bird and a nest, a bear just kicking it, and we've got a dog drinking water. All right, let's read what these things say. The dog bowl. 
Okay, we could say that in the dog bowl, but we know that this dog is drinking out of this bowl, which means that bowl belongs to this dog right here. Would you agree? Bowl, dog, it's, it's his. His stuff, his bowl, only his bowl. Nobody else can use that bowl. And then I guess, unless there's another dog. So what we would put is a yes, an apostrophe and an S. An apostrophe is just a little, a little hook. It just goes boink. You can practice over here too. Boink, 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 boink. <laughs> look at, they all look different. That's okay though. All right, the bird nest. All right, so here's our bird sitting in the, in the nest. Bird nest. What belongs to the bird? The nest. How do we say that in a sentence? How do we show that? Yes, an apostrophe S. All right, so Sparkles is gonna step in for this bear. All right, Sparkles, you ready? Okay, the bear nose. And this is nose like the nose on your face that you smell with, okay, just so you know. The bear nose. So whose nose is this? Is this anybody's, is it my nose? No, thank goodness, that sort of looks like a wibble wobbly nose. Is it that bear's nose? Mm -mm. It's Sparkle's nose. <laughs> Sparkle says, it's my nose. Don't mess with my nose. How do we show that it belongs to him? You're right, an apostrophe S. Yes, yes, yes. Sparkle says, thank you for making sure this was no one else's nose but my nose. Yeah, you're welcome, Sparkles. No big deal. Now they want us to draw a line from each thing to its picture, so we can just do that real quick. We've got the dog and the dog. So the dog and the dog bowl here, the bird and the bird nest here, and Sparkles' nose. And well, we've got a polar bear sitting in, but we know that we really meant Sparkles right here, right? All right, and the last thing it asks us to do is write a sentence telling what a rabbit's ears or an elephant's trunk is like. Hmm. When I think of an elephant, I think something about its ears. I also think something about its trunk. Me too. I always think of how long an elephant's trunk is. So I'm going to say the elephant's trunk is long. I think that sounds like a great sentence. What do you think? And I know how to spell elephant because it's right here. All right, the, T-H-E, elephant, L -E. We've got that PH together that makes a sound. The elephant. Now what do I need to write to show that the elephant is going to own his trunk? So I'm gonna say the elephant something trunk is long. What do I need to go back and add? Oh my gosh, you guys are so smart. Yes, I have to add the apostrophe S so we know that that trunk belongs to no other elephant but the one we're talking about. The elephant's trunk is long. All right, I hope you had fun. Sparkle says, have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs> so cute.